Hey everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Swindler Square Pants Battle for Bikini Bomb. Today we'll be starting the first area of World 1, Jellyfish Fields. Jeez, when was the last time you got stung? <laughs> and during that time, you were brought uh, by SpongeBob and Patrick into Jellyfish Fields even when you're injured. Firmly grasp it in your hand. enemy in the game, Fodder, the first robots in the game. They're basic mooks. All they try to do is zap you with their electric rod, but they're pretty easy to kill. Yeah, you, 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 SpongeBob does have idle uh, uh, animations where you just let him stand there, but if you defeat some robots, uh, uh, he does like that victory thing and starts running like he won something. And, um, what was that? What was I gonna say? But well, when he when the robots see him, he gets scared. Okay. There's a sign over here. What's this water here? Actually, this, this, actually, you may be confused in SpongeBob logic. Like, why is there water underwater? Well, here's the thing, though. This water is not water. It's actually this is goo. SpongeBob and Patrick can't swim, so don't let them fall in the goo. Yep. It's not. It's this weird goo substance that nobody knows about. So yeah, what well, what the game is trying to say that goo is pretty much the bottomless pit. So dope. So here's an example. Yeah, you bounce back. It's kind of like lava or something. And as you notice, uh, these stands right here. Don't stand on it because it counts as a death if you go there for too long. So, yeah, pretty basic stuff. What's this box over here? This is a teleport box. When you have both of the teleport boxes in the area open, you may teleport between them by jumping inside. You may use this teleport box once both boxes uh, have been opened up. So, yeah, teleportation. Alright. 
I, I, I like the aesthetics. I mean, I could see World 6 over there and the Chum Buckets. Yeah, I really like the amount of detail they put in the game for 2003 standards. And I just noticed that this game is 10 years old now. It was released in 2003. Reminder, collect additional underwear if SpongeBob is getting low. Yeah, I already know that. I haven't got hurt yet. Ah, damn it. I was trying to go for a combo for killing both of them. In fact, uh, Tiki's, they only give you one point of combos, but uh, if you if you kill multiple robots at a time, uh, you'll get a be you'll get a better uh, combo bonus. Uh, floating Tiki's, while they are just as breakable as um, wood Tiki's, uh, you can actually use them as platforms. Well, just about any Tiki can. Just the floating Tiki's are, are the most moving and most uh, platform-esque uh, kind of platform. Here's an example of a spring. Ultra combo! Too bad I can't find that voice clip anyway. Reminder, SpongeBob may defeat wooden Tiki's by pressing the square button. Yes, I know. Let's go over here. Actually, let's kill this guy. Kill these two first. Oh, there's a bunch of shiny objects there. There's a robot here. If you kill robots, you gain uh, shiny objects. And I don't, I don't know if I should go over how many shiny objects we give you. Super combo. Super combo, ultra combo, super mega combo, monster combo, super monster combo. Alright, so, reminder, return 10 of Patrick's socks to his rock with for a golden spatula. Here's the first sock of, four, of the 14 socks in uh, Jellyfish Fields. Yes, Jellyfish Fields has the most socks in, in, out of every world. Even though for a tutorial world, but this, but this one actually has two backtracking uh, socks that you have to go to, but uh, I'll talk about it later. This is a clam. In order to proceed through the, throughout the rest of the level, or to find more goodies, you have to feed them a certain amount of shiny objects. This one needs 125. Uh, so, if you feed this one, it'll complete the bridge. This is a checkpoint. If you are defeated after activating a checkpoint, you will restart at, at the checkpoint instead of at the beginning of, that, of the area. Yeah, basic stuff. Alright, just watch Spongebob when he's being chased. Yeah, he's scared. I don't care. I still won that battle. Is there are multiple robots I can kill. Yeah, these robots cause a lot of havoc. There's tartar sauce here. One. Oh well. Huh, what's that? I'll go over there. Dying motherfucker. Huh? What's this? This is this is freezy fruit. Only Patrick can use the freezy fruit. Yeah, we're gonna have to backtrack here with Patrick because there's a sock over there, but we can't reach that one yet. Minor defeat of hovering tickies by pressing the triangle button. Yes, I already know that. I don't need reminders. Come on! I need some shiny objects to pay. Get extra height by doing jumps by pressing the next button again. Yes, I know that. Ah. Okay, okay, you can hang on to ledges. Let me demonstrate. However, you can't do that with tickies for some reason. I'll just kill one so I can get on top of it. Alright. Pretty much if you use your uh, bubble spin as Spongebob, you can uh, give yourself a little bit more air time. But if you do it twice, but if you do it a second time, it doesn't it doesn't count. Wait, where's the robots? Lost them. There they are. 
ultra combo. So yeah, pretty much if you kill two robots, it counts as an ultra instead of a normal combo. I don't know how many times. Yeah, I don't even know the numbers that well every time I'm trying to calculate combos. Something up there. Okay, if there's some if there's some stuff above you, don't destroy tickies just yet until you've done your job. So there's a switch up here. Pressing buttons with this circle button. I know that. Get the shiny object. Alright, so I activated some barrels to bring me to this small island to grab the second sock of jellyfish fields. Okay, and there's a purple shiny object. They give you 50. As I, like I said before. It's hard not to talk over when the characters try to talk. Okay, but hold on, I gotta change my batteries. Okay, as I change my batteries, here's the pause menu of the game. If you go up and down, you can go to other levels and check what tasks you can do. Question mark ones, uh, that means you haven't received the tasks. And, uh, as you can see, it's pretty much a checklist. If a spatula is gold, that means you've already gotten that golden spatula. But if a spatula is silver, that means you haven't done that mission yet. However, you can also teleport to the areas by, uh, pressing, uh, X. But you can't do this to, uh, uh, ones that you haven't unlocked yet. But I'll do instant teleporting when I have to backtrack for some stuff. Anyways... Our mission is to get to the top of the hill, of the hill in Jellyfish Rock. Jellyfish Rock is, is uh, the area I'm in currently. So uh, the, every uh, world, the, every world, there's a areas in the game. Jellyfish Fields has three, has not three areas, four areas, and uh, four areas. Jellyfish Rock is the first, so that it's pretty much acts, like yeah, acts of a stage or world. Act 1 is Jellyfish Rock, as you can tell from that giant Jellyfish Rock, saying the words Jellyfish Rock. Uh, the second area is Jellyfish Lake, third area, no, not Jellyfish Lake, Jellyfish Caves. Third area is Jellyfish Lake, and the fourth area is Fork Mountain, where King Jellyfish is at. Alright, watch out for these things. Hey, uh, if you get hit by them, oh man, that's a lot of, that's a huge ass knockback you gotta take. So, some cannons are destroyable, but some of them uh, are destroyable. You know, it's, we'll be seeing more cannons later. This is the first cannon we meet, and it's easily destroyable. Huh, Gary, what's he doing here? Hey, Gary, what's taking? So then if you talk to a character while during a mission, they can they, if you talk to them twice, they say a different dialogue. Alright, so we we have a new task to do. This is a bungee hook. SpongeBob can bungee from it. Uh, to bungee from the bungee hook, just jump and jump up and touch it. To dive downwards, press the X button. Exit the bungee to exit the bungee hook, press the uh, press the triangle button. Okay, what SpongeBob? What did what did what did uh, Mr. Crab say to go towards the box? Folks are pretty much fishermen lines. Well, whatever. This one, we could just do bungee jumping for some reason. Oh, God! No, 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 no! Ah, damn it. Okay, I, okay, sometimes you can automatically go to it, but sometimes that doesn't work. So, yeah. Fuck you, recording curse. So, anyways, let's try that again. Yes, every time you fall, uh, that, hand, that captain's hand grabs you. It's one of those cutouts that uh, Nickelodeon always uses, like that, like the fish, like that tuna newscaster, and um, uh, that other thing. But I'll go over that later if we see it. But um, yeah, first death of the game, an embarrassment. Oh God, really? It's fun if we have to see your ass. But hey, we got all the shiny objects here in the golden spatula. 
Yes, every time you collect a golden spatula, your game will automatically save. So yeah, that's one of the easiest missions in the game. Well, let's continue. Okay, I'm just gonna kill this thing first. Because I love destroying cannons. Alright. What the thing said is like, remember, you can, if buttons are on the wall, press it with this button. Yeah, I already know. We just create platforms. Above and hits the death pit. Alright, so fodders are the first enemies in the game that we already know, but there's a new enemy we can meet. Every time you meet a new robot, you'll be seeing a cutscene like that. So it remain to beat most of us are pressing. Yeah, I know that. That's the name of the robot. Ham Mer. Get it? Hammer. It has a ham. The ham has a hammer head. But, so yeah, that's what's called. Ham Mer. But watch out for its attack. It has a. It's 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 just like fodders, except uh, they have a little bit of delay in their swing, but they have a long range. <sighs> Try not to get myself hit at times. Yeah. Try not to get myself hit. God, I suck at that. Or reading, trying to make my own skip. All right, yeah, there are some random fish you can see. They don't do anything, except you can just tease them by hitting them, just like to the other characters. Which I haven't showed off. Ultra combo. Normal combo. Super combo. Ultra combo. Super ultra combo. Yeah. <laughs> Love doing combos at times. It's so fun. And up here, it's just a pair of underwear and some springs. Eradicate. Eradicate all robots. God, my commentary sucks. I'm not really good at explaining some shit. Wait, I just put that in clip. I thought I did for a second. Huh, what's that bowling alley over there? Spodum needs to know the bubble bowl in order to play this game. Okay, so I'll bring it from bit like, like from the games. Uh, did you know that in certain games that you have to yeah, you have to learn some moves. Well, this is one of the games. So, yeah, Bubble Bowl, uh, we can learn, uh, we'll later learn that, but I'll explain how, because, well, there's two moves that Spongebob can, uh, can learn, but you have to do certain tests to do that. So, we can't do it right now. Um, yeah, if you, be, if you uh, do this, if you do this mini game with the bubble ball by uh, destroying all the pins, you'll be rewarded with a uh, with one of Patrick Lost socks. Huh. Here's a secret area, just full of shiny objects. All right, if if a robot falls in goo, they instantly die. And jellyfish don't count as combos when you kill them. Yeah. All right. I think I'm halfway there to the uh, area where the swamp special is. Ultra combo, super mega combo. So as you notice, after I died, uh, there's no lives in this game. You have infinite continuous or infinite lives. Sometimes it's not like that in 3D platforms. Yeah, you told me this before. This is goo. I can't swim in it. Let's blur this camera here. Yep, safe. They instantly die if they land on goo. Two of them there. Ah, god damn it! Oh, bastard, try not to get hit here. Try to get a man title of not trying to get hit in the very first stage. I don't fall. 
Oh god. Die jerk off. Alright, let's just go through this path. Uh, here's a secret area that I didn't know. Right here, there's, there are some shiny objects to pick up, but there's also one of Patrick's socks. Right above this fountain. So this is the source of all the waterfalls, I get it. All the waterfalls around this area. Oh, I missed that. Shiny object. Uh, I'm just gonna get it quickly and I'll edit out. Yeah, where was it again? Camera cooperate. Ah, damn it! Ah, I sunk. Okay, get out of my way. Try to click something. If I can find it, there it is. Edit. Alright, I'm back from getting that shiny object. Let's let's take the uh, spring path. We. I hope you're not afraid of heights. We. Now we're on top of the jellyfish rock. Where are the other? How many socks sites like now? Um, the fourth sock is located. Okay, some springs will instantly bring you back to, uh, I don't know, areas where you were before. There's another temple box. Yeah. Hey. Did that machine huffing and puffing over there is a Duplicatotron 1000, not 3000. So D1000 will continue to create robots until it, it is destroyed. Be careful, uh, though. It goes up with a big bang. All right, so they, so yeah, duplicatotrons are considered as enemies, but they don't even move at all. And the only, and the only way that it can hurt you is the, is a uh, is when you destroy it, it self destructs. Let's destroy all three of these guys at once. Damn it! Oh, damn bitch. Anyways. And sometimes uh, you have it's mandatory to destroy them because it gets annoying fighting uh, respawning robots. Hit this button, and here's the first golden spatula. I mean, the second golden spatula of jellyfish fields. That'll be all for now. Uh, to next time, where we'll go to the second area of jellyfish fields, jellyfish caves.